Morning, everybody. Jason, PJ, Hollis Farms. Let PJ run around just for a little bit, and uh, the loggers are supposed to be moving back in as we speak, so we'll see. Can't never tell about these loggers. They drive me nuts. But looks like that's a part of it, and then we're going to get back on the 7210 here in just a little while and uh, try to get a little more grass cut drying up by the day now for sure Going with me? Huh? You ready? Yeah. All right. So me and BJ went and had a meeting with the loggers. They're getting ready to move equipment as we speak to a new spot. And uh, while they're doing all that, me and PJ's back on the 7210 for the cut a little grass and going back toward the power line, but I'm gonna work on these roads on the way there and on the way back just a little bit, kind of neaten it up a little bit. All right, here we go. Got this right here cut already up here, clover field. It's gonna get in here, kind of Cut it a little high right above the clover like we did the rest of it. Some weeds. Well, my spraying just didn't do as good as I should have done. Anyway, still ain't as much grass there as it could be. A lot of clover down in there. Well, I'll tell you what, this ain't near as bad as I thought it was. It is nearly solid clover. A few little weeds and stuff in there, but we get done, it's gonna be right. Drying up in a hurry, too. PJ, what you doing? Good girl. chemical did really good got some heads of clover that's dead kind of makes it look a little ragged a few weeds but pretty much solid clover one spot out there a strip I can see I miss spraying not the chemicals fault if I miss it but it's right here there's a lot of food out there Trip right down through here, it looks like I've missed it. Not completely, but boy, it's a lot of clover still. All that green you see is clover. The seeds headed out too, knock them down to the ground. We'll get more clover coming back up.
coming right here. So enough had them old Christmas tree looking weeds in them, whatever it's called. This is probably the worst on the clover, but there's a lot here. We just gotta, I may add some this fall. We just gotta keep working with it. Turkeys really like this spot right here. This stuff here is about out of hand. I tell you one thing it's done, there's a lot of clover right there. Like I said, it that's about the only competition the clover had. And it's kind of kept some shade on it for these hot days and what little moisture. Of course we've had plenty of rain, but it keeps that moisture in there and it's growing good. Clover's really good right through here on this end. Pretty good over there. Just gotta keep working with it. Get it back thicker and thicker. One thing about cutting this, even having to cut it after we sprayed, I'm up, I'm nearly running six miles an hour, 5.6. Got the cutter raised up, just kind of clipping right on top of the clover. And we can roll on and cover some ground right now. Cut one of these rows on the way out. Missed a turkey sitting by that big old tree this year. I think that's the only one I missed this year. Probably won't be the last. All right, we got a lot of grass cut. Still got a pretty good bit to do. I have uh, been to run up here and see what what equipment the loggers has got moved in, if they got started or whatever yet. And uh, I have made an appointment with a chiropractor friend I know and. Uh, carrying in my MRI stuff today and we're gonna check on that uh, not better yet so just kind of keep checking and going and see until we figure out I am gonna do everything I can do to keep from getting this back cut on so just go ahead and tell y'all that and I think that's a smart thing to do but I feel like we can figure it out without having to get cut on I hope that's the plan anyway all right, so I drove by and I turned it back, going back the other way. I didn't want to get hit by one of these trees. They have got the cutter over here and uh, they're starting to cut. It's gonna be a small section here that we're gonna clear cut. Probably the last clear cut section of the year. The rest of it's gonna be thinning. See if I can find the tree he's cutting. He's cut just a few. They ain't been here long. A few right down through here. It won't take them but three or four days to uh, <clears throat> get this. Some pretty good trees in here. This was a section that was going to be up for clear cut. A pretty big section in a few years. And I just, I didn't want to. Here we go. I didn't want them to didn't want to have a big section down through here clear cut for two or three years so we're gonna clear cut this and the rest of it will thin it and when this starts coming back up we'll start a few more sections down through there. See if I can get up here where we can see the cutter. It's a tall on the edge here. We may not be able to see the cutter, but he's under there somewhere. Boy, I'd hate for that tree to fall on us, wouldn't y'all? Throwing them down. I think we can see a little bit of the cutter here. Mm -hmm. Looks like it's gonna hit it. Big old trees. Got two of them that time. Some tall ones. Let's let them get going a little more rest of the evening and then, then kind of see what we got going on with that part of it tomorrow. We're gonna make their loading pad right there. 
the old loading pad. They get the dozer down here. They'll clean all that up. That's where they'll load. Hi, right, y'all. I've got good news. Very good news. I, uh, little background. I hurt my back years ago. Oh. Uh, playing baseball when I was about 16. I'm 47. And I've dealt with this stuff for years and years. I used to go to a chiropractor before every baseball game. Older man. He's dead now. Uh, really old school. And man, he could just, he could do it. And then he died and I got away from it for years. And then uh, I went to another one in Columbus. Both of these were in Columbus. And uh, used him for a while. Had me going pretty good. And uh, he died. And then I kind of got away from it, learned about the herniated disc and all, and went to the back doctor, and I didn't want to get cut on. Ended up taking medicine that I still take every day, and pretty good. But this new deal with the nerves and the numbness and all was just very new to me. And I uh, didn't know what to do. Made an appointment at the orthopedic, which was going to be a month away. And I was going to do everything I could do before I went there. And... Uh, there's a guy that's been around, I actually know him. Uh, kids went to school together. And uh, anyway, uh, he's been doing it several years now, and he's actually a doctor too, not just a chiropractor. So uh, this guy, I'm going to see him. So made me an appointment with him. Of course, I carried my MRI stuff in there with me. He looked at that and did x-rays and all. I should have took a picture. I know I ain't never looked at a spine but it's things are pretty obvious I was basically completely locked up the reason I'm hurting so bad Re one reason I'm hurting so bad trying to walk and all or burning and all is because my hips were so locked up other muscles was trying to do the work in place of my hips working right so anyway went through my neck I mean it was just it's pretty obvious what's what was uh going on my spine just locked up out of alignment uh, i knew i had broke my collarbone years ago and i had a one of my part of my back had been fractured i didn't know that so found out today i broke my back before didn't go to the doctor when i uh broke my collarbone could have been the same time maybe not but Either way, it didn't go to the doctor, found out today, I broke my back before. Hmm. Interesting. But anyway, body can heal itself pretty good, but he says in about, and I've done this before, a lot of people don't agree with it, but I've done it years ago, and to me, the right person, it works. I get a little scared on my back, got to know them, got to know they do a good job, got to go through a lot of people to know it works, and thank goodness I know this guy, I trust him. So... It was just a different pain, different feeling than I've ever had with my back with the burning and the numbness. So, he said about eight trips. He said, I'm gonna feel like a new man. And I can tell the difference a little bit already. I knew that this first one knew, never does, uh, it's not just a one and done deal. So, uh, I will keep y'all posted, but I really feel confident about this. I really, I'm excited about it excited about it. I don't care if I have to go once a week the rest of my life to keep from getting cut on. I will do so. So, he explained a lot of other stuff to me that I won't get into, but I'm feeling very confident that we're fixing to fix old Jason's numbness and burning and get this back back going. we got to get back to where we can roll again. But anyway, I am headed to the house. It's sprinkling rain. I had a few chances this afternoon, but nothing, nothing major. Got a, Cody's done, I think he'll be done took care of the mules and the horses and I gotta feed the dogs and we got ball practice this afternoon in a couple of hours so very excited about this y'all we finna get fixed up but anyway appreciate y'all watching 